Good morning, Antioch family and friends. We thank you so much for taking the time to worship with us. True worship is valuing and treasuring God above all things. During the week, be sure to attend one of our recurring events. We have a Tuesday morning prayer, and we also have three separate Bible studies on Wednesday night and on Thursday and Friday mornings. For our other exciting activities, here are a few things you need to know. Attention church family, our Rising Above ministry invites you to a special virtual event on Sunday, October 20th at 1 p.m. Join us as we welcome a guest speaker who will share their powerful testimony of hope and faith through their cancer journey. Whether you're battling cancer, supporting a loved one, or want to learn more about our cancer care ministry, this event is for you. Come be inspired and see how God works miracles even in our toughest times. You can find the Zoom link for this event on our website. Please join Pastor Taylor on a journey of faith, walking in the footsteps of the Apostle Paul in Greece and Turkey. This journey begins September 20th, 2025, with an optional cruise to the world-famous Greek islands. Hear the testimony of Sister LaBelle Ulmer. So, my God, you know, when you think about Paul, and Paul is like the only apostle who didn't physically walk with Jesus, but yet it seems that he had such an understanding and such a relationship. It just brings tears to my eyes when I think about I'm here and I am walking where Paul walked, where Jesus walked, and it's just incredible, incredible. So I thank God for my ability to be here. This is my third try trying to get to either the Holy Land or not to Greece, and he just made a way. So glory be to God. You too can have this life-changing experience, walking and studying where the New Testament was lived and written, and see and experience the truth of God's Word for yourself. For more information, please visit the information table at our Mission Outreach Fair in room 205 in the Ministry Building after both services today. If you need more information, please visit our website or reach out to Reverend Rochella, who is the point of contact regarding the study tour. Thank you for listening and God bless. Hello, Antioch. My name is Miss Tiffany, and I am the Children's Ministry Servant Leader. We are so excited to announce that Children's Church starts next Sunday, October 20th, during the 10.30 a.m. worship service in the multi-purpose room. We would love to invite all children ages 12 and younger to come out every third Sunday. This will be a time of fun, fellowship, and worship. However, we can't do it alone. We need Antioch members and parents to come out and volunteer and share your gift and or talent with the youngest amongst Antioch. If you have any questions regarding volunteering or Children's Church, please do not hesitate to reach out to Reverend Daniel Simpkins or you can reach out to me. I hope to see you there. Good morning, Antioch family and friends. My name is Daniel Simpkins, Children, Youth, and Young Adult Pastor at Antioch. First, thank you to all the families that took part in the laser tag fun yesterday. Everyone had a wonderful time playing together. Antioch prioritizes staying connected to our college students. For example, Pastor Taylor and I are taking our very first road trip to the Hampton Roads area to fellowship with them in person on October 21st. Also, our college ministry continues to send our college students care packages. Here's where you can help. We need an additional 10 people to help us assemble 53 care packages on Tuesday, October 15th from 6 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. in room 400 in the Ministry Center. Contact me at dsimpkins at antioch-church.org if you can help. In light of the holiday, our Gen C ministry is postponing Bible study this upcoming Monday, October 14th. And we are inviting all our young adults to come to worship and brunch at Chloe's Cafe in Fairfax Station on Sunday, October 27th, immediately following the 1030 worship service. Finally, the Children's Ministry is hosting a family field trip to Cox Farm on Saturday, October 26th. You will have the entire day from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. to fellowship, so be on the lookout for other Antioch families as you enjoy the farm. 
Tickets can be purchased through the Antioch website for a discounted price of $5 per ticket. So as always, visit the Antioch website to stay informed of children, youth, college, and young adult ministry activities. Mark your calendars for Antioch's annual Veterans Day celebration on November 11th. Plan to join us for the reception immediately following the celebration. This year's featured speaker is our own Rear Admiral retired Julius Caesar. Register today by scanning the QR code or visiting the church's website. We look forward to seeing everyone on November 11th. For years now, we've known black women tend to die and of breast cancer 40% more often than white women. Um, they also tend to have more aggressive cancers, um, known as triple negative breast cancers. Dr. Sandy Apruthi says starting screening early may help reduce these disparities. For black women, we need to start screening, and we should be screening them much younger, beginning age 40, and sometimes even younger, in their 30s. Detecting breast cancer early can improve prognosis and reduce deaths. Dr. Apruthi stresses the importance of understanding your individual risk factors, which can start with a conversation. I want people to come back to their primary care doctors and say, can you tell me what are my risk factors? Can you do a risk assessment and guide me on what is the best approach that's individualized to my needs based on my risk factors? And that may mean screening someone younger with different screening recommendations. Those different screening recommendations may include MRI in addition to mammography, whole breast ultrasound, or molecular breast imaging. For the Mayo Clinic News Network, I'm Dee Dee Steepen.